Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, welcome back to English Language Vocabulary. And today, inshallah, we are going to talk about Unit 28. It focuses on describing the world. First of all, we are going to talk about climate. Okay, climate in Arabic, al-munakh. It says, traveling from north to south in Nigeria, you pass through a fascinating series of landscapes. Rainfall in the southeast can be extremely high in the wet season, whereas the northern part of the country is arid and prone to drought during the dry season. Good. So, climate in Munakh. Okay. We have rainfall, Lantar. Um, it says here, whereas the northern part of the country is arid. Arid means having little or no rain. Having little or no rain. Okay. And prone to drought. Ordatalli, drought. Jafaf. Taban, during the dry season. During the dry season. Okay. So rainfall is the amount of rain that falls, for example, in a month or in a year. We have arid, dry, we have prone to, or tending to have a particular negative characteristic. And drought is a long period without rain, a long period without rain. Let's go to vegetation. More than 30% of landscape of Canada lies inside the Arctic Circle, where the land can stay frozen for up to nine months of the year. In these regions, known as the tundra, vegetation is limited. Further south, dense coniferous forests, known as taiga, cover large areas of land. Towards the border with the United States are the grasslands of the prairies and the mixed temperate forests. Okay, so let's go from the very beginning to talk about new words and expressions. More than 30% of landscapes of Canada lies inside the Arctic Circle, whereas the land can stay frozen for up to nine months of the year. In these regions known as the tundra, tundra, suhul jarda, okay? Area in the north with no trees and permanently frozen ground. This is tundra. Vegetation is limited. Vegetation, okay? Vegetation. It says here plant life. Of course, further south, dense coniferous forests. Coniferous, الأشجار دائمة الخضرة. Okay, trees that are evergreen. Okay, trees that are evergreen in leaf all year round. Of course, evergreen in leaf all year round and produce cones. Unlike deciduous trees, unlike deciduous trees which lose their leaves in winter, deciduous, okay? الأشجار اللي تفقد أوراقها في اللي هو الشتاء, okay? Unlike, so the opposite of coniferous trees, okay, is deciduous trees, okay? Okay, they are called tiger, they are called tiger, غابات صنوبرية سبخة. Okay, they are called taiga. These, of course, cover large areas of land. Okay, towards the border with the United States are the grasslands of prairies and the mixed temperate forests. Prairies, marai. Okay, marai. Flat grasslands in Canada and northern USA, similar to steppes in Asia or bambas in South America. Okay. In the steps, steps, okay. So, uh, braries, okay, braries, braries, okay, braries in Marai, braries in Marai, okay. Good, let's go to agriculture. Rice is the main crop grown in the south of China, along with tea, cotton, fruit, and vegetables. The rice is planted in flooded paddy fields. A good year can see two crops of rice and one of vegetables harvested. In the drier, hellier north and west, farmers generally harvest a single crop of cereals and in addition, tinned sheep and cattle. 
Okay, again. So it says here, rice is the main crop grown in the south of China, along with tea, cotton, fruit, and vegetables. The rice is planted in the flooded paddy fields. Paddy fields, okay, fields planted with rice growing in water. Okay, again, these are fields planted with rice growing in water. These are paddy fields. A good year can see two crops of rice and one of vegetables harvested. In the drier, hellier from heli, heli, kathir tilal. Okay, in the drier, hellier, north and west, farmers generally harvest a single crop of cereals. Cereals, of course, al hubub. Okay, tinzra, or bitla minha dhura, bitla minha tamih. Okay, cereals. And in addition, tin sheep and cattle. Tin sheep and cattle. Tin here means take care of. Tin means take care of. Take care of sheep and cattle. Take care of sheep and cattle. Okay? Okay, so um, uh, cereals here, types of grass cultivated to produce a grain, e.g., like food plant, like rice, okay? Wheat or maize, okay? Wheat or maize, vora. Okay, let's go to uh, industry. France is one of the world's leading developed nations. It is home to large manufacturing, steel, and chemical industries. The country is an important and major producer of aircraft and cars and is at the forefront of technology and engineering. Its sizable nuclear industry generates a significant proportion of the nation's electrical power. Like many developed countries, France provides a lot of help and aid to developing countries. <clears throat> okay? So, France is one of the world's leading developed nations. Developed, متطور. However, developing, NAMI. And there is a great difference, actually, between developed and developing. Here, developed with a modern industrial economy. However, developing is or describes a country that is poor and doesn't have a modern industrial economy. Okay? Developed, متطور, developing, man. It is home to large manufacturing, steel, and chemical industries. Manufacturing here means producing goods in large numbers. Okay, musanya, balad musanya. So producing goods in large numbers or in large quantities. Okay, the country is an important and major producer of aircraft and cars and is at the forefront of technology. It means it is an important leading position. It is in an important leading position. على أعتاب التكنولوجيا يعني أو تت بوأ مكانة مرموقة ومهمة جدا في عالم التكنولوجيا والهندسة. Okay, so it is in an important leading position. Okay, it's sizable nuclear, sizable, sizable means considerable, big, large. Okay, it's sizable nuclear industry generates a significant proportion. نسبة لا لا بس بيا. Generates here means produce. Creates a significant proportion of the nation's electrical power. Like many developed countries, France provides a lot of help and aid to developing countries, to poorer countries. Okay? Let's go to population. Population. Okay? Brazil is a vibrant mixture of peoples. Vibrant means exciting, full of life. Some are descended from indigenous tribes. Some are descended, okay? Descended, yan hadar min, okay? Are related, here it means are related to someone who lived in the past, okay? Good. So, some are descended from indigenous tribes. Indigenous, in ahl al-balad, in al-asliyin, in mahalliyin, okay? So, some are descended from indigenous tribes, others from Portuguese, others from Portuguese who were the colonial power in Brazil 
for 300 years. Many Brazilians have African ancestors brought over in the 17th century as slaves to work on sugar plantations. Okay, so um, many Brazilians have African ancestors. Ancestors, al ajdad al aslaf Okay, they were brought over in the 17th century as slaves to work on sugar plantations. During the 20th century, large numbers of European migrants settled in the South. Okay? During the 20th century, large numbers of European migrants settled in the South. Okay, we have migrants. Migrants means people who move to live in another country or another part of their own country, often for seasons of economic need. Okay, migrants. We have immigrant. An immigrant is someone who leaves a country. An immigrant is someone who leaves a country. An immigrant, which is or which has a different spelling, an immigrant is someone who moves to live in a country, who moves to live in a country, or who has come to live in a country. Okay? So we have uh, some sort of difference actually between immigrant and immigrant. So an immigrant is someone who leaves a country. An immigrant is someone who moves to live in a country or who has come to live permanently in a country. Okay? Settled in the south means made their homes. Settle. Stakar. Okay? So uh, we have come, of course, to the end of our class. Thank you very much for, I mean, listening to us until we meet again, inshallah, in the next chapter. All the best. Bye-bye.